Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor. In today's video, I'll discuss the differences between index funds and stocks. Watch till the end to know the final verdict on which is better. But first, let's start with the differences. So the main difference between them is the risk. An index fund is diversified and holds many assets, so even when one company fails, the other company's huge returns will mitigate the risk. The failing company will just be a small percentage of the entire investment, thus a lower risk. On the other hand, buying shares of stocks of one company has a greater risk. Since you enjoy a share of the profits and losses, depending on how the company performs. Index funds, therefore, have a lower risk because of their numerous assets. Liquidity Investors of the index funds easily move in and out of the investment, resulting in a high volume of activity in the market. For this reason, there is ready cash without affecting the market price. Stocks are also liquid, but they see fewer traders in a day. The stock market banks on the blue chips to ensure liquidity. Index funds are therefore highly liquid, thus higher returns for investors. Cost Investors focusing on long-term investments are better off with individual stocks that are cheaper than investing in index funds. The taxes are limited until the investor makes a sale, hence giving them more time to invest further and gain more. On the other hand, having a large investment portfolio is expensive as they pay more taxes and spend more in investing in index funds. Stocks are therefore cheaper to an investor. But do they have any similarities? Yes, the two are similar in that they both involve investing by purchasing shares and then owning a percentage equivalent to the shares you bought. To sum up, which is better? index funds or stocks. What I like most about stocks is that they're cheaper to invest in, especially for long-term investment. On the other hand, I like how highly liquid index funds are in the market. I also enjoy that they're low risk and highly diverse. I therefore choose index funds as the overall winner because it offers higher returns to the investor at the end of the day. Feel free to check out the products from the links in the description. Thanks for watching. Till next time.